Can you achieve 1 crore using mutual funds? That was an easy step by step manner. I'm just going to explain. So, if you are interested, please watch this video. Hi, hello, this is Ganesh Santhuru, your stock market profit coach. I help you in multiplying your money by investing in stock market. And this is a book written by me, One Page Stock Market Plan. Please check out in the description section. So, today's video is all about how to achieve 1 crore using one simple formula called 15 into 15 into 15. Rule of 15, simple, rule of 15. Once you apply this rule of 15, it's easy to achieve one crore in your life. And remember, only in the long term wealth gets created. And one crore as of now looks a huge amount, right? So it's a huge amount. So for huge amount, you should give timeline. And that is the reason we always say uh, any long term goals will have uh, needs to create long term uh, wealth. For example, your long term goals, what, what will be your long term goals? Your child education, which is almost like 15 to 18 years down the lane and your retirement, which will be more than 20, 30 years down the lane. And uh, if you're buying a home, it should be also be uh, if you are starting from 25, 30s, it, it, you can buy your beautiful home in the uh, next 10, 15 years. OK, leave aside that at least two long term goals are there, no? like uh, your retirement, uh, retirement life as well as your kids education just consider these two goals which is long term can anyhow it will come down right uh, you may buy a car thinking that uh, let me buy right now instead of postponing for next five years you may buy a home instead of postponing for the next 10 years right this can happen but your two goals kids education as well as retirement plan it can never ever change right so that is what i'm just going to share in today's video so these two goals are long term fixed and even if, if your kid is around five years or 10 years, you will have at least five, eight years. But for your retirement life, for sure, minimum, it will be 15 to 15 years plus, right? If that is the case, just think of whether this is video is for you. And I'm just going to share step by step why this is long term and why it is called as rule of 15. Let me share what is that rule of 15. And uh, OK, this is a this is a screen you should watch. And if you look at this video, uh, hope you are able to see this uh, thing. It's simple mutual fund calculator. Go to advisorcoach.com where you will be getting this calculator, SIP calculator. Investing 15,000 rupees per month, per month, uh, 15,000 rupees. And how many months? 180 months, which is close to 15 years. Exactly 15 years you are paying. And expected return is around 15%. So for 15 years, if you pay for uh, 15,000 per month, your total amount invested will be around 27 lakhs. Just think of, you wouldn't have imagined, am I going to invest this much? But if you're investing on a monthly basis, this will get accumulated. And after that, just look at the amount accumulated is around one crore, right? One crore of amount if you're able to make 15% returns. And you may ask me whether 15% is possible and how far this has grown. And just look at this is how it has grown total SIP value. This is chart which you can see. And uh, is it possible? Can you show me funds? Yes, I, I listen you. I hear you. So this is a simple. And this is again here in the MF research, you'll be getting SIP return calculator and any funds which is in the market for more than 15 years, you can check out whether it has given such such that. And remember, our goal is not one crore. Our goal is to invest for 15 years. And if the return is 15%, you may get one crore. And if it is more or less, you will the returns will be much lower. Just look at this. ICC Prudential Value Discovery Fund. It is a very good fund, value discovery fund. And for verification and for value calculation, I took equity value fund because after change in the norms, the categories by SEBI, there are so many changes. But let's look at these funds which is in the market for a very long time and almost all the funds are having 183 months 183 183 installments which means they crossed 15 years and just look at the way the amount has accumulated and icc prudential value has given 16 percent returns at the and the accumulated amount is around one crore more than a crore and uh, if you look at tata equity value it has given 14.5 percent which is too good right you can't get 14 more than 14 percent in any other asset class which is around 91 lakhs and if you look at UTA value discount, UTA value opportunities fund, it has given 13%, which is even good. But the, just look at the way. In the long run, even 1% uh, difference is giving giving you more than 10 lakhs of difference, right? And between uh, UTA and ICICI, the returns are almost 3%. Just look at 3% difference. It is giving you more than close to 20 lakhs in the returns. So this is what is possible if you are investing an amount for a very long term and all your goals. And if you want to increase by 20,000, the amount is going to multiply. Just let, let's check 
how if you are increasing your sip amount how far it will increase just look at 1.42 lakhs and 1.23 lakhs and just increasing 20000 and for your retirement if you are in is simply investing 25000 per month let's look at 30 the 30000 and it's it's still downloading 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 so that is the reason just look at 30000 okay and some of you may be asking can i invest 30000 in one fund yes you can do and you can also invest in some other fund also just look at and if you look at 213000 2 crores 13,000 sorry 2 crores it's almost like doubling right so this is possible only when you invest uh, consistently and you don't need to invest in one fund alone you can split and invest in these uh, three funds or you can split and invest in there are so many categories large cap mid cap flexi cap mid cap and so much and uh, why i chose these two funds is that some of the small cap has uh, got started only uh, from uh, some of the mid cap and small cap got started in 2008 9 10 period so we don't have 13 years time period so that is the reason i took up 15 years the fund which has been in the market for almost close to 15 years that is easy to understand that is easy to make sure whether our rule of 15 is working or not so any any even considering right now the cost of education of engineering or anything will be around like 30 40 lakhs 50 lakhs and in the next 15 years you are one crore should be more than enough if they are joining a normal college and if it is iit or iim maybe you need to invest something extra and if it is uh, if they want to go abroad right now itself the cost is around 70 80 lakhs and more and if that is the case you need to plan something extra just remember you are investing in total period is for the 15 years you are going to invest spread the 15000 per month and that is the reason the 15000 may be too much for now but after 10 years the 15000 will be looking very small after 15 years it will be even very small that's how the uh, inflation works out for this period but the cost the amount what you're going to get after 15 years is huge so uh, if your son or daughter is going to get into a normal arts college or something one crore should be more than enough if they want to aspire if their aspiration is bigger you need to accumulate more and this is purely for mutual funds alone and this is one simple calculation if you are someone starting new just focus on this calculation and look at for a longer term period and uh, don't think how much I'm, I can invest in mutual. You can invest as much ever you want. You can start with thousand rupees, and you can invest as much. You can spread your investment across different categories. Use mid cap. If you're using mid cap uh, right now, you may be getting around 16, 18 percent also. And in that scenario, the amount the amount will be much more, maybe a one and a crores also in the same time period. And is it possible 15 percent over a period of every year? It's not like every year you are going to get 15 percent at the end of 15th year the cumulative amount will be higher maybe at the end of fifth year the returns may be negative the returns may be just single digit just because market has crashed market has corrected but if you look at a consolidated period of 10 to 15 years your returns may be higher for example you want 90 lakhs and by the end of 13th year itself the market has given you around 85 lakhs my suggestion will be uh, take transfer that equity to debt market so that in the next two years you'll be getting close to 90 lakhs and that is your goal is solved and you want a one crore and if your returns are close to 90 lakhs my suggestion will be 90 lakhs can be transferred to the air debt fund so that you will be getting around 95 lakhs at the end of 15th year don't keep till the end of 15th year that is a problem uh, many will say but instead how uh, because in the next 15 years this uh, you you will have lots of earning opportunities your career will grow your business will grow and you will you will end up investing in other things also right so just be positive on looking at the overall perspective and this is just one avenue one way to make one crore in the next 15 years this is a real possibility i am showing that with real examples if you have any questions with respect to this uh, video on how to do that just uh, post your comments i'll be happy to answer your queries and start investing in mutual fund if you need any help also with respect to investing just reach out to me i'll be helping you because i'm a Humphrey registered mutual fund distributor thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video thank you and if you loved this video please share it with your friends so that they also know how to accumulate one crore in the next 15 years by investing 15,000 per month by and getting around 15 percent in this timeline thank you